asked you, and I was wondering, you know, what your response would be to all of the um, military equipment that was left behind, including drones, apparently. Well, hey, Heather, nice to see you again, and I wish we were having more positive news to discuss. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, what we're seeing over there is an utter mess, utter chaos, and I'm just embarrassed and disappointed and ashamed, and I think I speak for all veterans out there when I, when I see, feel that it's just heartbreaking to see a lot of our diplomats and, and the locals basically just abandoned and to see these images on TV of these bases that I served in just being ransacked. And weapons and everything are, are being left over there because of the failure of the Biden administration to effectively prepare for this in, inevitability. And when I listen to this pre press conference, all I see is the Biden administration yet again not owning this failure. And now the Taliban has become the de facto industry standard for terrorism. And I've said it before, a lot of veterans have been screaming at the top of our lungs for months, for years now, that leaving Afghanistan would be a catastrophic mistake that's gonna reverberate for decades. And I think Joe Biden's gonna go down in history as the president responsible for moving our first line of defense and leaving us vulnerable. And now we're seeing that with all these weapons and all these things that the Taliban are taking over, they're going to stockpile these, they're going to use these for future attacks, and it's just disgraceful to see this.